main process is created when your application starts. This index.js is actually the main process and when you create the window you actually created the renderer process. So when the browser window for example experiences some error it will just kill this browser window and it won't affect other windows because each window has its own process. Think of it the same as a Chrome uh, browser which actually has the tabs as a separate renderer processes. So the same thing applies here. So let's try to create another browser window but this time let's create it from the renderer process. So we have here the HTML file that, which we created in the previous lesson. So I'm gonna just create the script tag. I forgot the head. All right. So here it says script and as a source we're gonna put it let's say hello.js right. and close the tag. So we need to create this hello.js just let's make sure console.log hello from hello.js let's just see that everything is okay so I'm gonna start it as node modules bin electron and put the dot so currently you can't see uh, the logging of in the console and that's because the console is tied to a window so if I just open up the dev tools by pressing command option I the same way as you would open up in a Chrome browser it will open up the console okay so I'm gonna just expand it here and you see here that in console we have hello from JS but how do we get this output actually in the terminal? So to get it, we have to pass another parameter when invoking it. So it's called enable logging. And now you can see that I see the output here in the console as well. It's going to be useful later on. All right, so we know that everything is working now fine. So we can now create another window from hello.js. The way to do it from hello.js is actually to reference the remote module which is offered by the Electron API. So let's use it. I'm gonna delete this now and say we have to require Electron again. Sorry, Electron. All right. And I'm going to say const electron. Uh, this is the way you, we would require the electron. And now we have to get the remote uh, module. Remote. And I'm going to use the ES6 notation. Uh, and now that we have our remote we can get the browser window. So we would create the browser window the same way that we created it here. So I'm gonna say var, let's say, world window, all right. And to actually create the browser window, we have to say, again, browser window but this time from remote. And now we have to actually create the window and open it up. So it would actually be the same thing as we did here. So I'm just gonna copy and paste the code here and just gonna replace it, all right? And just for a different, let's say this is 200 by 350 and we are actually referencing world HTML okay let's create this world HTML same thing here so
So I'm going to make the doc type HTML. Oops. All right. Uh, let's say body. Hello from world. Okay. So what this should actually do is when the hello.js is created by the window that we uh, referenced here, so it will actually run this JavaScript and it will create a new window which is going to be opened up. It's called world HTML. So let's try it out. Okay, it failed and it's because well, I didn't have a typo. All right. We'll try it again. So there you have it. We have a window created from window.